With the University of Texas at Austin campus just steps away from the Capitol building, and with the 85th legislative session in full swing, here's an explanation of the basics behind the Texas Legislature. We will focus on the legislature because it is considered the most powerful branch of the state, above the judicial and executive. The Texas Constitution declares that regular session be held on the second Tuesday at noon in January of each odd number year for 140 calendar days. This year the session began on January 10th. The structure within the legislature is what is known as a bicameral system, meaning that there are two branches or chambers that make up the legislature. The upper level, which has 31 seats, is the Texas Senate. The lower level is the House of Representatives. The House is made up of 150 members. Texas is one of 25 states where one party, in this case the Republican Party, has control over the major parts of government, meaning the governor and the majority in both the House and Senate is Republican. This is known as the trifecta. Within the chambers, there are elected officials that lead each branch. The Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick, and the Speaker of the House, Joe Strauss, both hold the leading positions in each chamber. The Lieutenant Governor is elected statewide by Texans, while the Speaker of the House is elected by fellow House members. While both preside over the legislative meetings, they also select committee members. A committee is a sub-organization that is concerned with a specific issue. This allows members to gain a deep understanding of the issue under their jurisdiction. Committees are the most crucial part of creating new legislator. Now that you have an understanding of the Texas legislator, you are one step closer to being able to participate in the lawmaking process.